Thanks for coming back. There are a lot of young athletes out there with the ability and talent to make it in professional sports, but the temptation to do wrong is all around them. Trust me, I grew up around that temptation, but thank God that my dad, family, friends, my God, the most high shielded and protected me. But that's not the case for millions of young people. Marcus Shaw was one of those young people. Good football player, got sidetracked and fell off for the temptation of the street life. Now, after a life of crime and prison, Shaw turning his life around, teaching young people not to make the same mistakes he did. Joining me now is my man, Memphis Shaw. Memphis, first of all, man, Mark, <laughs> thanks for joining us, man. Yeah, man, appreciate it, man. He's appreciate an author it. right now, but I have to say this now. Me and this guy go way back. Fall of 1987, Lanier versus Haven View football game. My first real injury. Lanier would run the crossbow. <laughs> I used to always get about 40 or 30 yeah. or 40 yards every time. But I get it. I, I break out in the open. He playing free safety. I don't see him. He's already shorter than me. He was squat. Pop. Broke my leg, man, and I ain't really, you know, got with you. I, I need my check, man, or we, we either going to call, you know, Corey B. Trotz, bro. It wasn't my fault. Coach ordered a hit. Coach ordered a hit, man. For me to play the game, he said, you got to break my heart, they lead. You know what, man? You're about the 10th person out of – junior high football ordering hits on me. Yeah, we had to, man. You cold. You the man. You don't want to win NFL. I ain't go. I want to send my pro. I ain't go NFL. Now, talking about that, man, uh, Everybody, every young kid has a dream of playing, you know, pro football. Of course, you had a dream as well. Yeah. Didn't work out. Your life started on a path and, you know, done some things and now you're an author, man. Just talk about uh, how your life has gone since, you know, when we were kids, then making it in football and some of the bad steps that somebody can make. Well, you know, I made a lot of mistakes coming up. I went to juvenile, went to prison, went to the feds. So I had to make a decision, what you gonna do? Keep going to jail or you gonna change your life? So instead of me preaching about it, I wrote about it. That's what I did. Now talking about writing about it, I didn't even know that you even talked about our little incident in junior oh, high yeah. football in, in your book, yeah, man. Yeah, it's in my book, man. About, Talk about that, Yeah, man. man, you know, I just said, you know, my mama was telling me, you know, what you gonna do this guy? I said, well, coach want me to break my uncle's leg. She said, you That's gonna so do dirty. it. I said, I gotta so do it. Dirty, I said, I gotta man. do it. I had to do it. Yeah. I ain't go to practice none that week. I went to juvenile the day before. When I got out, he said, you can't play this game. I said, why not, coach? He said, if you play, he said, if you wanna play, bring his leg. I said, I got it. Now that's just now, now that's just dirty. Now, but the title of that book is In Debt with God. Yeah, in debt Talk with about God. what that good that book is about and why did you choose that title? Because I'm in debt with him. I did a lot of things growing up. I did stuff that I don't supposed to be here today. But I am, so you know, I'm in debt with him, so I gotta pay back. So every time I sell a book, I take 10% of that and put it in church to God. Now, what exactly are you, some of the topics that you, you're, uh, you're touching in that book? Because there's a lot of young men and women that can read your book and learn from some of the mistakes that you've made and even that I made myself. Yeah, well, you know, come for me stealing, robbing, pimping. Sold drugs. I did it all, man. I'm just one of the guys that still here today can talk about it. A lot of guys in jail facing life sentence. A lot of people dead. You know, I'm just still one of the legends, still left to talk about it. Now, if if young people that are reading your book, man, what, what would be the lessons that you would want them to learn from <laughs> some of the mistakes you've made, Mark? They ain't gonna get away with it now because new technology. It's Facebook, it's Twitter, it's Instagram. Back then, we ain't had nothing. We didn't have what, what beepers weren't even out then, was it? No, 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 no. You know no, what I'm saying? No. So right now, you can't beat the system. So you best to just get you a job or go to school. Now, what, 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 what exactly made you start? I said, you know what, I need to, let me start writing some books and putting this down and try to well, tell my story and also try to teach at the same time. Well, you know, uh, like I told you before, instead of me being a pre trying to preach about it, I just went on and wrote about it. I want to reach out to the world. See, preaching, you limiting yourself. Mm -hmm. I don't want to limit myself, I want to spread, you know. Then, you know, by me being in the game of persuading women, now I want to persuade the world to come by my book. I still want the same kind of money. But now, I'm getting legit now. Now, talking about that, Shaw, man, uh, because a lot of young, there's still a lot of young people to this day, they want, they want to do things easy. They want it to come fast. Talk they, about the pitfalls of they, having that kind of mentality. They ain't going to win. It ain't no winning situation. It's over with. The game changed. Technology taking over. Anytime you can look at your phone and unlock it, it's over with. In time, you can, you got location on your phone. We ain't had none of that back then. We were beating the system. You can't beat the system now. But if you could go back, would you even try to beat oh, the system? No, would you even try to go oh, that route? No. Nah. If I had a, a father that, in my life to push me, I would have been in the lead right behind you. 
I mean, you want to lead. You one of the best running back coming through Memphis, Tennessee. I was one of the best safeties in Memphis. Indeed. You know, so I would have followed your path, but I ain't had nobody to push me. Now, the, 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 the message I try to convey when I go to talk to young people, I'll be like, look, I can – I can look into the past, but you can't look into the future. I'm trying to tell you what to do, what not to do. Isn't that also something you like to stress when you are talking to these young wannabe gangsters when they just, they, they're really lost and they don't understand They ain't no gangsters, man, because they ain't made to our age. You ain't made to our age. You ain't, you ain't made it. So you might not even make it to our age. Exactly. So you need to listen to what we got to say because, you know, we legends out here, you know. So I tell any brother, you, you can't win. You can't beat the system. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. You know, you just can't beat it, man. I don't care what you try to do. You can sell drugs, you can't beat it. You can go forgery, write checks, whatever you're doing, you can't beat it. You might as well just leave it alone, man. Get your life together and, you know, try to pursue something. Your rap career, uh, real estate, whatever you want to do, do it and be the best at it. And lastly, not only have you uh, wrote In Debt with God, you've written three books total. Talk about the other two books you've written. Ooh, do I got to say this here on national TV? Well, you know, you, you say it, man, because these just the it's, young people it's the need game, to learn. It's the game, man. You know? It's the game. It's something I went through in life. Part of everything I went through. I was one of the... I was a I was a drug dealer. I was a pimp at once one time. I was a, a thief. I was a, a shoplifter. I did it all. I come. I ain't survived. So me reaching back out now to tell people about it. But at the end of the day, you can't beat the system. You can't beat it. So you might as well just leave it alone. And that's and that's I guess probably part of the reason why you say you're in debt with God. Yeah, I'm in God debt with saved you. He saved me. Constantly I'm, giving you. Uh, he ain't saved everybody. I'm one of the guys he saved. So I'm a, I'm one of them guys that he saved. So I can. Uh, and my thing is now I'm going to reach out to a lot of women because I, I heard a lot of women out here. You know, I mean, I had a lot of women doing some things that I wouldn't tell my daughter to do. So, you know, now I got to, you know, I got, I got to pay my respect to the game now. My man, Memphis Shaw, my guy. You still owe me, though. You got to pay your respect to me and owe me for that broken leg, man. And what's, what was Coach, Coach Rooks at Havey, what? Yeah, rest in peace, man. Coach Rooks like did. I, if he would live, I wouldn't even say what I said, man, because, you know, he ordered a hit, man. So I had to do what I had to do, man. You know, I was on his rules and regulations. But once again, though, man, seriously, pleasure uh, meeting you, man. I wanted to talk to you because a lot of young people can learn from your mistakes, even yeah. my mistakes, but especially your mistakes because you've yeah. done it and done it. I did. And now you've changed, changed your life as an older, grown man yeah. and trying to do the right thing. So much respect, my guy. All right, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right.